Thank you, Doug. There is nothing like an escort from the Gordon Pipers at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Really appreciate all you guys do. Thank you so much. Well, welcome to what has become an annual event here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the unveiling of our winner's face likeness on the amazing Borg Warner Trophy. This year, for the ninth time in the history of this beautiful trophy, we will be unveiling a rookie winner of the Indianapolis 500. So congratulations, Alexander. Really, really cool. It's also be the fourth, fourth American rookie winner. And as I was thinking about what to say here tonight, you know, there have been nine rookies to win the Indianapolis 500, uh, eight as we led into the 100th. And if you look back, maybe some of the most important victories at the Speedway, certainly Ray Haroon winning the Indy 500 as a rookie, first race ever, American. The 50th uh, anniversary was won by a rookie as well in Graham Hill in 1966, and then the 100th. Uh, with a rookie in Alexander Rossi. So those, those important years are certainly times for rookies to shine. And looking back at those rookies, you start thinking about they come in clusters with the exception of Graham Hill. The first three, the three out of the first four years were rookies. In 26 and 27, we had two rookies together. Juan Pablo did it in 99, and two years later, uh, Elio Castroneves did it. So I would say that next year or the year after are certainly good years for rookies to win the Indianapolis 500. So if you're betting early, you might bet on some of those rookies who will be running next year and the year after as a good opportunity to win the Indianapolis 500. But what's so neat about Alexander winning it is I think – it just continued what has been over the last five years these sort of unbelievable finishes that the Indianapolis 500 has had. Starting with Dan Weldon winning coming out of the last corner of the race at the 100th anniversary all the way through Dario and Takuma's battle and each year it just seems to be better and better and better and you waited for that shootout at the end but this year it took more than a shootout. It took more than driver's bravery although it was pretty brave to listen to your engineers and believe that you were going to get there but it really was a team effort and that that's what makes the Indianapolis 500 so special is you don't know how it's going to win or who's going to win it, but you do know that it takes a great driver and it takes a great team, and certainly your team at Andretti Autosport was that. And with that, I'm going to introduce, this is our annual, well, we do this a couple times a year, but this opportunity to do this here, uh, a man who has uh, really fallen in love with this place, understands what the Indianapolis Motor Speedway means, but more importantly, he represents a brand that understands what the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the Indy 500 believes. They're not only invested here, they're invested in our IndyCar series. Uh, they are a great partner, and I'd like to introduce, to introduce Scott Gillette, the head of marketing for Borg Warner. So thanks, Doug. Thank you. And I got to say, being responsible for this great trophy is definitely the best part of my job. So I consider it a real honor and a privilege, and it's something that I'm sure that I'm going to remember long after I retire from Borg Warner. And every year I reflect on that because as a short-term caregiver, if it means that much to me, what must it feel like? to drivers like Alexander Rossi, who know they've earned their permanent place on the trophy. So it's valued recently at over three and a half million dollars. It's the official appraisal. It's probably what the silver is worth. But with all the silver likenesses of every driver that has ever won the Indy 500, I'm sure that you would agree that it's really priceless. So we're all here tonight to see the latest silver likeness of Alexander be unveiled on the trophy and to catch a glimpse of his face as he sees it for the first time. We hope you like it. All right, so we're going to keep the energy going because now is the time you've been waiting for. I'd like to invite the great crowd here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum to join me in welcoming your American winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alexander Rossi. So why don't you come on up and help me unveil it.
hours. But um, first of all, thank you everyone for coming. It's great to see such a wonderful audience um, here on a school night for everyone. So it's this was the one thing that I was looking forward to the most, I think, um, once I went through the realization of, of what had happened on May 29th. And it was because it was, this is the goal. I mean, you go into that race wanting to win. And in most races, you obviously get a trophy. But this one, obviously, you don't get to take home. But the accomplishment is to be on it and to be on it forever. And so that was the most exciting thing for me. So now that it's finally here, it's it's, um, it's just a huge honor to be able to be here today, uh, to be able to have had the opportunity to come race in IndyCar this year, to be able to participate in Hunter's Running Indianapolis 500, which is far and above now the thing that I look forward to most, you know, each day, um, the next one, the 101st, and, and what it's going to take to try and do it again. And I certainly won't be betting on any rookies um, <laughs> to, to win, because unfortunately that title is now gone for me. But anyways, um, thank you to, to Borg Warner, thank you to IndyCar, thank you to Andretti Autosport, thank you to some of my crew who made it here this evening. Um, it's such a privilege to drive for you guys, and can't wait to, to go fighting again in March, and uh, hopefully do it all over again. So thank you very much.